Welcome back. My name is Praveen Balan. Today in this video, we are going to speak about how can we configure Cloud PKI inside Intune. So this is a new feature that is released by Microsoft recently. So with that note, let's jump into the configuration part of the video. So again, right. So when you, you navigate to tenant administration and then go to Cloud PKI, I mean, if you're seeing this message or if you're unable to create the PKI, then it, it means you don't have the feature enabled. So again, this is not a default feature available in Intune. So you have to activate the feature part of an add-on that you purchase from Microsoft or this is one of the component inside the Intune set. Today in this video, my focus is more about creating a root CA within Intune and also an issuing CA underneath and then that issuing CA will start issuing certificate to the managed devices. So click on create under cloud PKI and name it accordingly and this is going to be the root CA and then yeah if you want to put a description it's an optional thing so you can keep the description either empty or keep it something meaningful right so and then CA type is going to be root CA and and what is the root CA certificate validity right so you can keep it according to your need and again this is another extended key usage so what are the types of services or or type of key usages that we want to tie it against this root ca so you can create multiple root cas inside the cloud pk so if you wanted to have more secure infrastructure or more secure pk infrastructure so you can keep the key usage to limit it to what you really need or if you want to configure a wider wider open pki and then you can sell it all that right so i'm i'm not going to create everything in it so i'm going to keep it limited to server auth and the client auth and then put a common c, c name and so on. this is all related to the ssl configuration so you you might be already have you might have already done that in your existing ca setup so you probably can follow the same step here so i'm just going to give some of the meaningful information here and then it's all about the encryption key algorithm right so so there, there is something that we need to be very careful here so if you want to use it to a physical laptop where tpm is available and that will be storing these key, key algorithms right then the 4096 is not going to be supported so i am going to keep it to 2048 in this demo video but based on your requirement you can choose whatever fit right for you right so and then go for review and creation so it, it that's it so you've you've completed the configuration of root ca so you can see the root ca is already created now we can create an, an issuing ca tagging again as this root ca let's complete that step also name it and then do you want to bring your own root ca in my case or in our case in this video we are going to use the intune root ca so choose the right root ca or two extended key usage available choose one of them so i i chose client auth and then again you need to give this common name organization id issuing organize state you know country and all this information so just fill in with meaningful correct information and you can see that the encryption algorithm is 2048 is the only one which is available and then go ahead and re create it so we created root ca we created issuing ca so now the step three create certificate profile so we need to create three certificate profile one is to import the root ca certificate into the pc and second one is for the issuing ca and then the third is the skep certificate this is not a public ca so we need to ensure that these certificates are already available in the managed devices in order for in order to trust the certificate that gets enrolled so we need to ensure that we download the certificate uh, from root ca as well as from the issuing ca so let's go to the configuration and, and create a new profile and under the template you choose the trusted certificate so we need to ensure that these root ca and the issuing ca are trusted by the end devices which is a standard process if you already done it so you might be already aware and then we have already downloaded the certificate from root ca cloud root ca and the issuing ca so i'm going to pick the root ca for this one the next and then you need to assign it so group i'm going to assign to a specific group where i have added my test devices into and then go ahead and complete the creation of profile and the next let's create 
another certificate template trusted certificate template profile wherein we will ensure the issuing CA certificates also trusted under the intermediate store and assign it to the same set of devices and finish it and now the third profile is all about skep certificate so let's go on navigate to the skep certificate creation create a new policy and again choose the platform and the templates and if you search for certificate you can see skep certificate and here is what you wanted to configure how do you want this the certificate enrollment request to be passed from the end devices and again i'm going to leave most of the configurations are default you can update it based on your needs and all that you can configure it then you need to choose the root certificate we have created trusted certificate for root right so you'll have to choose that then the extended key usage what is that key usage that we will be using this certificate for i'm going to choose the client authentication because we have con configured it for client client authentication and then copy the issuing cs kept uri and then paste it there again don't change anything in it leave it as it is that will be managed by intune or by microsoft and then assign to the same set of devices then finish it and now we have completed the configuration of cloud pki within intune let's go back to the pc and confirm the certificate profiles that we created are applied to the devices so if you go to the trusted root certificate you should be able to see the cloud ca demo roots here and you can see that it has got a 10 year validity and then we need to check if the intermediate certificate or the issuing ca certificate is also added and see the first one there is from the same issuing ca you can see the ous pki that's what i gave we configured it for the user certificate right and then if you go to the personnel you can see there is a user certificate already enrolled if you open it it is from the right issuing ca you can see it and if you go to the certificate path you see that Praveen Balan and then cloud gear demo and then demo root CA that complete path is proper and now if you go back to the cloud PKI interface and open the issuing CA you will see the issued certificate under here and again I have usually seen a delay in displaying the certificate here so don't be worried if you are not seeing it to me it took around to one hour so wait for that period so you should be able to see the certificate there and again you have few controls there so so if you need to do a rework or if you need to monitor the certificate validate in everything and if you want to ensure that the new certificates are not going to be issued for that particular user or device you need to exclude those specifically from the skep profile that we created for this usage so that's all about skep certificate hope you enjoyed it again certificate related things are slightly complicated but with the cloud pk i think it was made more flexible more easy to configure but again you definitely need to have the basic understanding cloud pk has got many use cases i have only spoke about the very base use case here if you like the video ensure to subscribe the channel and engage and again if you have challenges please write it as a comment i'll try and respond to each one of them so with that note this is praveen balan signing off and we'll be back with another video very soon till then bye